Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 58. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so welcome to... The final episode of Gran Turismo 6. It's been a long time coming. Um, we've been playing through this game. I personally have been playing through this game non-stop for the past month. Just playing it. Enjoying it. Trying to get as many videos done as possible. Um, obviously, this series has gone on for nearly four months on the channel, which is insane. And this is going to be the final, final episode. And we are going to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. We have three events to do here, but I think more appear as you fit complete them. So we're going to be starting with the Renault Alpine, I think it is. Um, so we got to aim for one minute and six seconds for this time. Here we go. <coughs> the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Personally, I have never been to uh, Goodwood before. And it's something that I really love to see because obviously they get some of the fastest cars ever to go to Goodwood. And the cars that go are insanely quick. Um, we're obviously going to be driving some insanely quick cars as well for this, I think. I think the Red Bull X2010 is one of the cars, which is insane. Um, as well, yes, this is going to be the last uh, recording session. Because there is no way of updating this game for me. I don't have a PS3 with literally any storage. Apparently the update to update to the latest version is more than uh, 9 gigabytes. And I don't have that storage on my PS3. So we can't do the Red Bull challenges. Which is a shame. Because I was seriously looking forward to doing those. But it uh, looks like... Ooh, Looks like Goodwood is going to be it for us. Gold medal for the first of the Goodwood challenges. Thank you very much. There's the replay. We don't need that. 9,000 credits. I think we've got plenty of money, so we should be fine. Here we go. Right, next up is the KTM Crossbow. Uh, and this is a 53 seconds target time. Right, here we go. Back at Goodwood with the KTM Crossbow. The motorbike with four wheels. That is pretty much what it is. And this is why the Festival of Speed is amazing. Imagine being in those stands there. And just seeing cars going by, one by one. How much fun that'd be. It's not even a hill climb. It's just like a route. Point from A to B, perfect. And it's really fast, surprisingly fast. That was the uh, risky corner, always is. you got to be careful of that little uh, pop-out bit. 51, 52, oh, just made it. 52.4 seconds, very nice, and stopped at the end. That was a very good time, actually, 52.491. These are obviously the easy ones, but hopefully we get to some much more difficult ones later on. Uh, right, exit. Let's go to the third of the first section of uh, Goodwood Festival Speed. And this is going to be the Ferrari Dino. We are aiming for under one minute for this one. Uh, manufactured in the 60s and 70s. That is old. Right, here we go. Time for the Ferraris. The Ferrari Dino, one minute. To be fair, this already feels much, much faster than the Alpine, so that is decent in 
my books there. Awesome. Hopefully we are still on track. Perfect. Come on, come on. Around the walls here. Very fast through there. I would be scared to drive this. Just, this car's too expensive. Fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine point four nine four. There we go. That is how it's done. Replay nine thousand credits. I will take that. Let's go. Next one. Does it pop up straight away or do I have to like go through menus? Yeah, I have to go through menus. Dear friend, it has been too long since we last had the pleasure of your company. Your speed and skill behind the wheel are all the talk of England. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Lord March. I don't know who he is. I'm guessing he's a Goodwood Festival speed guy. And we have already unlocked the second section of Goodwood Festival speed. Let's go to the first one. Um, so we are aiming for a 108.5 and we are driving a BMW 507. Let's go. Right, let's do this. BMW... 507 in the last section we managed to uh, get gold first time every single time so hopefully we can do it again this time oh this feels like a tank I genuinely think driving a tank would be easier than this uh, imagine if Gran Turismo 7 had special events like the Lunar one, but they had like tank missions and shit like that. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh ho ho. Very nice, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, very nice. Coming around the corner again. Right, we want to be getting there. Oh, we might not make it for 108. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, 108.262. We got the gold medal. First try. Nice. Nicely done. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Right, let's take that and move on to the next one. 15,000 credits for that. Here we go. Where's the next? Exit. Oh, look at that BMW just zooming past there. Right, so the next challenge is going to be the Lotus Europa. I think we've already driven this at some point, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but we are aiming for a 1 minute and 8 seconds for this one. And we've only got 80 brake horsepower, so wish me luck. Right, here we go. Festival of Speed in the Lotus Europa. Oh my gosh, that's disgustingly slow. Remind me to never drive this again. Oh, a bit close to going off the track there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This is a little less of a tank to drive like the BMW, but this is definitely, definitely slower. Okay. <laughs> it's slow. It's slow. Just, there's no other way of describing it. It's just dreadfully slow. There we go. Didn't even need to lift up for that corner there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look how close that was. I thought we weren't going to get it. 107.642 for that one with the Europa. That is epic. 
That is epic. 15,000 credits. I will take that and we will move on to the third event. Let's find out what it is. Loading. Loading. And here we go. It is going to be the SLS AMG GT3. Interesting. Uh, we're aiming for 51 seconds for this one. Let's go. Right, here we go. SLS AMG, it's your time to shine. Perfect. Looking very good here. Whoa, okay, nearly hit the wall there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. 48.190 though. Very good time for that. The SLS AMG has done us proud. And that was the first attempt as well. But it's only going to get more difficult from here on out. Because we are now on to the third stage of the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Uh, here we go. Right. Are you... Right. That is that loaded. Let's quit. Dear friend, this is the third time now that I have had the honour of writing to you. It pleases me immensely to see that your career continues to go from strength to strength. It, we were already the best when we started. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, so we are going to go back for the third section of the Goodwill Festival Speed. Starting off with the Quattro S1 Rally Car, moving on to the 177, and then the GT40 Mark 1. So let's get the Audi uh, Quattro Rally Car. We are aiming for 48 seconds. Let's go. Right, here we go. The Audi Quattro S1. This is a classic rally car in the Group B C. Very nice. Forty-eight seconds we're aiming for for that gold medal. Oh, we went, yeah, we went flying there. <laughs> not, not a chance. Let's do this. It is a bit weird, the um, braking lines in Gran Turismo, so to get the best braking line, you can't follow the braking line. That makes any sense whatsoever. Like that. You go way past where it tells you to start braking. Very nice. Right, we've got eight seconds. Should be easy. 45, 46, 46.929. That was way under target. Just over a second. 24,000 credits for that one. That's very nice. I will gladly take the money. But there we go. That is good wood. 3-1 done. We're now on 3-2 with the Aston Martin 177 and we've got 52 seconds to do. Right, let's do this. The Aston Martin 177 was the biggest, heaviest and most powerful Aston Martin Aston has ever made. And probably it probably, oh jeez. Yeah, you can tell it's very heavy as well. Right, come on. This car does not like corners too much. It is very heavy. Oh, 
Oh, we went off there as well. Gosh, it is heavy. Does not like corners whatsoever. Here we go, slow down here. Perfect. Oh. No. It, it lost total control from that point onwards and there was just no chance of recovering. And off you go. Nice. Very good, very good, okay. Perfect. Oh, not great. Hitting the inside wall there. Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one. Ah, we just got silver. Okay, let's give it one more attempt. See if we can get that gold medal. This is like one of the most difficult cars to drive though. It is such a big thing. We are at exactly the same points as before. Okay, we are slightly ahead. That's good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. 48, 49, 50.758. An improvement of nearly two seconds from our last run. That was very good. That is the Aston Martin 177 done. We've now got... Uh, is it the Ford GT40? I think it was the GC40, wasn't it? Which is our next car to do. The Mark 1 from like years and years ago. The old, old car. Right, uh, we are aiming for a 56 seconds for this one. Right, here we go. Ford GT40, the Mark 1. Jeez, this does not like accelerating at all. That first gear is so long. Wow. Perfect. Come on. Weaving in and out. Perfect. Oh, we made contact. I have a feeling that's going to have a massive impact on our time now. Actually, no, it's not. Even with that crash, we were 1.2 seconds faster than the 56 second time. So we will take the money and the gold and move on to the fourth section. I'm pretty sure there's five sections with this, um, but I'm not sure if any of those sections are due to an update or not. Um, if they are, gutted. If they're not, let's go straight on to the next ones then. And here we go. Fourth invitation to join the Goodwood Festival. Right. And what cards have we got for the fourth stage? So we have the... Oh, so we have that weird Alfa Romeo. We've got the Kuntash. And we've got a Lancia Stratos. That is very good. 
Right, so for the Alfa Romeo, we're aiming for 52 seconds for this one. Let's do this. Right, here we go. Oh, this car is horrible. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. Why? That corner is very tight. And I've seen cars come around that corner at like 200 miles an hour before. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare for some of these cars. Perfect. We're aiming for 52 seconds. Nice. Okay, right, slow down here. Ah, oh, that chicane was taken very nicely. Oh, bit of contact. Hopefully that's not going to affect us too much. Six seconds left. No, of course not. 50.917 on our first attempt. Look at that. The Alfa Romeo is just an awesome car. Absolutely loving it. 38,000 credits for that. Nice. Uh, let's go to the next one, which is going to be the Lamborghini Countach. Countach is an amazing car. It is a classic and shaped I think a lot of Lamborghini, but a lot of supercar industries. Uh, 54 seconds for this one. Right, here we go. The Lamborghini Countach. Go, go, go. That first gear is really long. I did not realize it was that long. But again, I think the only game that I really properly drive the Lamborghini Countach in was uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Yeah. I think that's the only game I properly drove the Countach. That is done in though. Okay, get around the corner. Nice. Very good, very nice. Haven't said that for a while. 52.533. That is... That is a smashing time. I think the next car is the Stratos now. That's going to be exciting to drive that. 38,000 credits for those races. Thank you very much. Load in, load in. Right, Stratos from 1973. This was a classic in the rallying scene. One minute and two seconds for this one. Right, here we go with the Lancia Stratos. We are going. We are moving. We are making moves. I am excited to see what is after this. Perfect. And onto the brakes. Nice. Are we going to get below one minute? No way. That was nearly three seconds faster than the gold time. That is a very impressive time for that. Wow. 38,000 credits. Thank you very much. I will take that gladly because I know if the fifth one is definitely here, we have uh, three very questionable races to come up. 
for this good wood. And when I say questionable, they are probably going to be quite difficult. Do we get a fifth invitation? Yes. It is a fifth invitational to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Goodwood Festival of Speed. Oh, look at this. So starting off with the GTR, moving on to the R18 TDI, and then the Red Bull X 2010 prototype. That, that I'm looking forward to because we didn't actually get to drive that in GT5. And I accidentally deleted my save data, so I'm never going to get the chance to, unless I play through the game again. Um, so we are aiming for 48 seconds with the GTR Nismo GT3. Let's do this. Right, let's do this. The Nissan GTR GT3 Nismo R34 GT3 RS. I think we could think of some extra names to add to this. It though the good word festival of speed perfect oh a little bit of contact through there 46 47 48 49 so we have to somehow gain one whole second with this one. We're going to give it maybe three or four tries. Very good. We gained a lot of time with that corner. Come on, come on. How well is it going to do? 47.355 getting that gold medal on the second attempt. Awesome. Oh, that car is stunning. That is such a nice looking car. The next one is going to be an even faster car. It's going to go even faster and then even faster again. Like overpowered fast. Because uh, the next car is the R18 TDI. Which was very overpowered in Gran Turismo 5. Uh, and made it basically impossible to play the game unless you owned one of these. Um, but we are aiming for a 43.3 seconds time to destroy it. Here we go. The Audi R18. Perfect. Oh, we've gone off the road a little bit there. Oh, oh, ah, very close. We got dragged into the mud. Right, let's go. Come on, stay on the track. Don't go off again. Come on, stay. No. <laughs> Why did he? <laughs> right, so we definitely have to watch out for that corner. The car likes to go very wide around there. If 
fact is, it's about to get even worse. Because we got the Rebel X2010 to drive. That was, that was dreadful. I'm not even excusing myself for that. That was awful. Right. This is the one. I have, I have a good feeling. Nice. That was very good there. Risky. Forty one, forty two, forty three point three oh six. No. Oh, my day, zero point zero zero six seconds slower. Right, let's give it a try again then. Okay, that's not great. No. We'll stick with the silver for now and off camera I will try and regain that. Right, so we're now, I've managed uh, off camera, got the gold medal. Uh, we literally only just managed to get below uh, the gold threshold. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is now the Red Bull X 2010 prototype. And this is going to be a 32 second time to try and beat. 32 seconds. That's 10 seconds faster than before. Uh, which is crazy. So let's do this. Right, here we go. The Red Bull prototype. This is the first time me driving this. Oh, crap. That's... Whoa! That's quick. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Right, go, go, go. Oh, it's definitely got some grip in the corners. This is like a massive learning curve. I'm more impressed by how fast it goes in corners. Okay, we went off a little bit there. This is a massive learning curve. Like, this is probably going to take me a while. Very nice. Oh, okay. A little bit earlier through there as well. Right, go, go, go. Imagine if this car was a real thing. Ah, uh, we hit the wall. We hit the wall. That is such a tricky, tricky section. I see why the uh, bronze is 42 seconds though, because it's just like, yeah, if you survive this, that's good enough for a medal. Ah, off the track. Literally 42 seconds is like surviving. Like that's not even attempted. How, do, how did I manage that? How did I manage that? Literally, the first attempt that I get where I finish this is where we're going to end it. Off we go. Ah, 
I gripped it too much. Okay. This is crazy. I honestly couldn't care how long this uh, episode actually turns out to be. Just because of the fact that it is the last one. Very nice. Ah, oh, we hit the wall there. At least we got through the sh chicane section that time. This would be dangerous, like... Okay, that was very good. I'm gonna shut up now, concentrate. Ah! Oh, it was going so well. That first section was the best we've taken it. That was very good. Ah, uh, we lost grip as we were going through the breaking zone. I don't even think doing it at behind the car camera view would be better. <laughs> oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. The amount of pain I'm going through right now trying to finish this. And... Oh, I thought the game crashed then. Oh, it was... Oh, this, I hate... Honestly, I hate the PlayStation 3 thumbsticks. They, the movement is just... They're too tall for racing games. Like, I'm genuinely blaming the thumbsticks for this one. Ah! Oh, Come on, we can do this. The amount of attempts I've taken on this is ridiculous. Nice. Oh, we were so close. 32.1. But we finished. We did it. We did it. And I'm going to finish this level off camera now. Right, so there we go. We got the gold medal, the gold trophy finally on the Red Bull. That was very good. Have we got gold on everything? 
Yes, we have. Is there no special car for that? Oh. No, I was looking for a, forward to a car for that. But that... That, ladies and gentlemen, is everything for Gran Turismo 6 for this playthrough. Unless I can figure out uh, from now till later how to actually update the game. If I can get it updated, then there'll probably be more. But for now, this is going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check the links down below. We've got a load of social links for Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. We've also got our merch link down there if you want to get any of that. Uh, and if you do want to help support the channel, make sure to hit the join button down below. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I will take you